Hey guys, this is Elena from We Learn to Share. In this video, we're going to cover this question from Physics 1. Let's read the question. At time t equals t1, an object's velocity is given by the vector v1 shown below. A short time later, at t equals t2, the object's velocity is the vector v2. In v2 equals v1, which one of the following vectors best illustrates the object's average acceleration between t equals t1 and t equals t2? So over here, we can know that the vector v1 over here is indeed the initial velocity vector. And over here, v2 is like the final velocity vector, right? And now we're going to use the concept of acceleration, the definition of acceleration to solve this problem. And as you know, acceleration, right, is a vector. And it is the rate of change of velocity. So that would be by delta v over delta t, which means delta v being v2 minus v1, or the change, like the change of velocity, and you're gonna divide that by t uh, so that you can get the rate of change of velocity, right? And this means that when you draw this as a vector, um, it would be v1 going like this, right? And then v2 going like this, in order to calculate this v2 minus v1, you're going to have um, the vector addition of v2 and minus v1. So that means that you will draw your v1 minus v1 in this way, minus v1. And then you're going to have the vector addition of these two. So which results in a vector like this, the acceleration. Right, And then as the magnitude of both the velocity is same, thus A um, will bisect the angle between V2 and minus V1. So your um, acceleration vector will look like this C. So this will be the answer. And thanks for watching.